Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Doom 3. I'm in a new setting now because I just got so tired I couldn't continue. I just wasn't playing well. Um, I actually got quite a fair bit into this part and then I just couldn't progress. Uh, plus, we were about almost there until the arch file shows up. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, I wasn't looking. Tron quote of the day. Anyway, so yeah, I'm recording this the next morning. It's about 9 a.m. Um, just casually. Uh, but we're pretty much almost done with the game anyway, so, yeah. I found it was kind of weird why the doors were life-operated, if you know what I mean. It's like, okay, I'll just jump over here, and then Kako. Take out this guy, this guy's gonna go on the bomb. Sick of Kako. Especially when there's still two Kakos. I like that, that's kinda cool. Um, the other thing is that you'll notice that the end of the level was just here the entire time. Um, and, yeah. So if I had just dragged on the path for another two minutes, we would have been pretty much in the next area by now. So yeah, we're in the second last area of the game, the Caverns Area 2, according to that list of maps. Uh, I got a little bit into this area, and I pretty much know that the only way to take out, the only way to progress on, because for some odd reason they're kind of jerks at the beginning here, is... Actually, you know what? I could be able to do this plasma only since I've got my soul cube on me. I didn't have the soul cube on me last time, so. See how an arch file pops up? See how that guy pops up? I take out that guy. Might be able to it's a little bit better. Oh, I got that guy. There you go, that worked. Okay, last time I used my BFG on some of them. Now we're gonna use this. Um, I used my BFG and that was about it. I didn't really suck that much. So I didn't really I haven't really used my BFG since we were in Um basically now since we're in pretty much the last tenth of the game. They're going to have to try and do something really challenging, aren't they? I mean, last tenth of the game, granted, that's like the last 12 stars of Mario Galaxy. Or any Mario game. It's got to be 120 in Mario game. Well, yeah, I was going, hmm, there's, there's one more guy, right? Yeah. Um, other than that, though, this is a kind of interesting-ish area. I will throw a kind of just because I'm a little bit hesitant. Also, I was editing the parts and I think I may have just gotten the numbering wrong on my saves. So, if you see how I'm, on, uh, how um, I ha I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I have the odd suspicion now. I have the odd suspicion that this isn't part 22. This may be 23 or something. And I was thinking, you know, oh gosh, anyway, should, I, should I kill you guys? die? That's the thing with the soul cube, it's just like, no, but I don't want to fight you. I mean, granted, yeah, you can't use it all the time, but, like... Ooh, dark room. But, like, if you can just, like, you know, use it, immediately kills whatever you want. I mean, jeez, if they chuck a boss at me, I'll just chuck the soul cube at him. I actually think I died by this stage. I thought I went somewhere else. I must have gone a different direction. Oh, that's not good. Oh, shotgun. What are you doing there? Ah, 
I would get to. Oh wait. No. Um. Yeah. So I've given pretty much overall thoughts about about the game itself, and I've pretty much given thoughts about the LP. So I think that's about it, really. Other than that, I just we just yeah. I guess we just gotta finish the game now. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing the expansion pack as I've said a couple times. Oh, I think I should be turning on all the power generators. That may be why. Don't want to fight him. Don't have to. Freaking spiders. It's, it's weird. I I swear I was on like full full uh, sprint. Bill, yeah. Oh really? You sure you want to do that? It's not gonna be easy. So I've got a chain gun. Is that the guy on the cover of the game? Is that the guy or is it the imp? I, th I think it's that guy, and that's kind of odd. How uh, you have him on the cover? And I'm kicking that. I'm kicking that stone block. With, uh, I'm actually going to back up because I should have been activating all the power thing I was. I remembered. Yeah, um, I guess I would recommend this game, although I'd prob if you're going to get an id game, I recommend getting some of the more classic games, just because they are a lot better designed. My favorite is actually Quake 2. I like just the Hexen kind of styled gameplay, except it's a little bit more compact. So yeah, I've got to turn on all the generators. That's the cutest one enemy, apparently. Yeah, I remember I died here because I turned on that and then this guy, this guy over there. This guy spawned, I just died straight away, I don't know why. Oh, maybe it's because I got stuck. Because that happened. Activate one general. Oh, crap. Woof! Yeah, that's what happened. Jeez, that was pretty mean. Jeez, I can't sprint. But you know what? I don't have my chainsaw. Snap, dude, I'm just trying to... Why do they keep spawning? Like, I, I can't recover my sprint now. Wow. Gosh. Nah, can't jump up there. Well, anyway, so we've got the lights on. means we can kind of see where we're going some of the time until that happens. I'm going to recover my sprint. Oh yeah, there was this box. This box, yeah, I administer it. Again, no armor. No armor, so... I'm just throwing a kind of in case. Because, hey, we're in the last parts of the game. I should be kind of worried. Okay. Oh. Oh. Aha! 
I was thinking they should really throw that enemy in again. And then I was like, maybe not. Holy snap, he doesn't die. He doesn't die from the salt cube. He died shortly after, but hey. That's that's pretty cool. Why am I just taking so many hits? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah. I don't why am I running out of sprints so fast? I'm like trying to run and it's like nope. You're not going to be able to do that. It's because I keep walking onto stuff. Should I use my BFG? Probably. There's a lot of enemies. Did they come up from behind or did they just come up from the sides? BFG reloads really quickly for no, for no reason. Put that in there. Yeah, I know. I used the BFG. I guess I'm not going up there. Still got my soul cube. My soul cube. Do 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 do. Pulling it kind of. Again, I know. Ha! There you go. Easy. Is that the entire map? Whew. Well, I guess this is it. This is the last of the game. We got it destroy the artifact. Or we gotta or we'll do something. I definitely know Hexen has secret maps, but I don't think this game does. Well I guess that's my that's my cue to basically get every single thing I ever need. Thank you very much. And it's like it's like, oh we'll put the artifact here. But and it's like, um so there's a lot of Things. There's a lot of weapons in the next room. No, 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 that's okay, that's okay. That's okay, just leave them there. How do you, how do you grab those ones? I don't know. Again, I'll pull kind of, because... Hey. Why was Kevin's Area 2 so short? I guess I'm all ready. Crystal, yeah. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase mm. the latest finds. This looks kind of weird. Goodness, I'm back here. Partially. I got kind of bored of all those space bases. And I was like, oh, yeah, we're in some caverns. Ooh, snap, I'm falling kind of quickly. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, cool, we're in caverns. And then it just kind of ended. And now we're here, pretty much. See, that didn't use the caverns area that much. Well, I guess they're building up a big enemy. What Doom enemies haven't we seen? We haven't seen the spider boss. We haven't seen that. There's also one more enemy that we haven't seen. Well, I know we haven't seen the Barons. Uh, and the little guys who I don't know what they're called. But there's one more enemy that we haven't seen. And I, I knew this guy was the final boss. I, I didn't exactly know. Yeah. Holy snap. There he is. The final boss. The poor screen. Well, 
We'll throw out kind of. Anyway, this is the side of demon. Also, he chucks some enemies at you, I guess. I guess he could always use a soul cube. I don't know if you just have to do it the classic Doom way, just shoot him. But yeah, he fires whole missiles at you. Oh, um, thankfully I can sprint as much as I want, so basically I can just run as much as I want, pretty much. Do I have to hit him in the behind? I have a weird feeling I gotta hit him from behind. I also have a weird feeling that if I run around enough, it's just gonna turn around. Yeah, he turns around. Basically, I can spam the Soul Cube. Because, hey, they're just chucking weakish enemies at me all the time. as well spam it. Oh, is that how you actually deal damage to him? Do you have to use the soul cube to hurt him? Because it definitely doesn't look like he's taking damage then. Ooh, he, does, he did look like he took some then. Rockets also look like they're dealing damage. I don't, I don't exactly know, like, what's dealing damage to them. Because in original Doom, they were basically all the enemies would just take hits from whatever. It's just, it was based on health. And that was a good thing. It was nice and simple. You used your logic to determine which weapons would probably be the more effective ones for certain situations. Oh. What? Really? That was it? Well, I cut his leg off. Ooh, in the face. Oh. Go, Charlie! He's just left in the air. And that was it. So yeah, I've pretty much given all my thoughts on that. That ending was a little bit like, yeah, they pretty much built up to the Cyber Demon, but he was, he wasn't that tough to be honest. Like, especially because I didn't even die. He only took like three soul cubes, that was about it. So I was going, hmm. How could you make this incredibly... I moved the mic way too much. Uh, how could you make 
don't know. It's a little bit oddly designed because it's Doom. It's not like you know Mario where you can just design an enemy that will utilize new skills. It's kind of Doom. It's basically like you shoot it and that's it. So yeah. Um, yeah, it was a little bit kind of weird, weirded out with the ending. Like, so you go down there, you just run around the donut ring, shoot him a few times, then he dies, and that's it. Oh, and the thing over falls into the portal when it closes. It. Okay. One thing I was I was thinking was how come the guy didn't like fight you himself. That was it, that's the entire game. Which means when you start a new game, you can go on Nightmare Mode. But other than that, I'll have to see you guys next time because we won. Also, there's multiplayer, but don't, I'm, not, I'm not pulling another Half-Life. Or will I? No, I'm not. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Because we're going to be playing the expansion pack. See you guys then.